Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. As you can see here, I'm running Armbian 25.2.3 with the Linux kernel 6.14 on a Racha Rock 5B. Now, you might wonder, how did I get kernel 6.14? Because As you can see here, the current images, they have kernel 6.12. Now, I found this thread on Reddit, and at that time, the Edge branch had kernel 6.13, and here, he explains how you can build a new kernel for Armbian. And you have to make use of the Edge branch. So you can get the build tools from GitHub. And as you can see, you need to know the name of your board. And just in case you don't know that particular name, then what you can do, um, is just uh, execute the script. Now you need elevated privileges. Um, well, just to find the name of your board, you don't have to change the kernel configuration. And here you can see all the names that are supported. So in my case, rock 5b. So If I do it like this, and then rock 5b, then this command will build a new kernel. And I already did that, so I can go to output depths and I got the four files, the Debian packages. Uh, you can just double click on it and then it will install it. But this one, uh, yeah, it gave him a conflict. So I wasn't able to install it. So probably in my next video, I will have a look at creating a complete Armbian image with kernel 6.14 and then hopefully uh, it will come with this new package but as you can see if you don't get this conflict then you can just click on install package and it will work like that so that worked for those three packages and that's how I got kernel 6.14 now, the main reason for me to do that is that I want to test the Vulkan driver from Collabora for the RK3588. And yeah, I will also put a link to the documentation of Armbian where you can read more about that build tool. Now, I also saw that someone made a system monitor tool for the Orange Pi that can monitor the CPU, GPU, MPU, RAM, and temperatures. Now, I tried it on my ROC 5B. It works for the CPU, 
it partially works for the GPU. Um, and when you install it, uh, well, in my case, I used PyEnv because as you can see, it will install one or more Python scripts. Um, yes, like I said, I wanted a newer kernel to test Vulkan. So let's just start the monitoring tool here. Okay, and well, one of the things that does work is Vulcan Quake. Uh, oh yeah, so one of the things with kernel 6.14, perhaps also with 6.13, is that audio out through HDMI now works. So with the 6.12 kernel, I only had output through the headphone jack. Okay, let's try Vulcan Quake. And let's have So the GPU monitor is not fully working, but you can see that the clock speed for the GPU is fluctuating. So that way you can assume that there is load on the GPU. Yeah, one other thing that I tried is Llama CPP with Vulkan. So if you want to know how to build that, I will put a link to one of my earlier videos that explains this. There is one catch and that, yeah, I ran into memory issues very quickly. So the only model so far that I was able to get, let's just say started, is small LM, 135 million parameters. So let's see. Mm. And yeah, I can show you that for instance, running the benchmark, Llama benchmark, that already shows problems with memory allocation. And, but you can see that it does find the GPU. So let's just have that one back also. So let's see when we try to run Llama CPP. Now keep an eye on the clock speed of the GPU. So you can see that it jumps up to one gigahertz. Well, that's interesting. 
I didn't know it uh, was also looking at the stock market. <laughs> Usually it uh, greets me in a different way, but anyway. Oh, yep. Well, doesn't want to. Uh. Well, and also for such a small model, it's very, very slow. Well, you can see that, um, well, from a technical point of view, it is working. Um, but yeah, this is just like a first test to see if we can get it working at all. So yes, we can sort of get it working, but only with very small models. And uh, it's not 100% stable either. But I think the good part of this story is, is that we're moving in the right directions. More and more things are starting to work with Vulkan on the GPU of the Rockchip RK3588. Now as a, uh, oh yeah, sorry. Let's exit that neatly. Um, as a last thing, RPCS3 Ah oh, well, just keep it as is for the moment and the only thing that I sort of got but at least started, the intro is running, is MotorStorm demo. So here you can see we're using Vulkan on the GPU. And I think the rest is all default. And yeah, the only thing I think, yeah. I enabled the performance overlay. So let's see how that goes. So you could say this is all experimental. So don't expect too much and like I said so far I wasn't able to play any games but yeah the good part is is that I was able to get the intro started so again we are moving in the right direction So I kept the resolution at 720p. And you can see that we're, let's just say between mostly 20 and 25 frames per second. So I think that's not bad for an experimental version of Vulcan. So I really look forward to testing with even newer kernels and also with 
newer versions of Mesa and of course also with RPCS3 and then hopefully at some point we'll be able to play some PlayStation 3 games on the Rockchip RK3588. So I can just uh, try to get to uh, gameplay but uh, it will encounter a fatal error at some point. So, but it's it's good to see that with uh, every new kernel, we get more mainline support. For instance, the audio out from HDMI. And I hope it's not hanging because I think usually by this point in time it would have encountered the fatal error but yeah it's also a bit weird that it's not using all the big cores now well, I guess uh, you will believe me that it will encounter a fatal error at some point uh, but again I think things probably will only get better with newer updates of the kernel updates of Misa and updates of RPCS3. This is all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.